Hi guys, first to understand how to find HCF and LCM, you need to understand what is prime factorization. Prime factorization is a process of writing all the numbers as a product of primes. Now what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are the numbers which are divisible by itself. So here let's take a look. Now you can do prime factorization by two methods, the tree method or the ladder method. For example, I'll show you the tree. If you're finding out factors for a number 20, so using the tree method, you can break that down into two factors. All right, that can be four and five. Four times five gives you 20. And notice that five is a prime number, so you just circle it up. Now four, 4 is a composite number, so you can again break that down into 2 factors. Now that can be 2 and 2. Now 2 is a prime number, so circle it up. So you've got the product of prime numbers. So 20 can be written as 2 times 2 times 5, the product of prime numbers. That's called as prime factorization. Now this is a tree method, what you've used. Now you can even break that down into different formats. Like for example, you can have different numbers. 2 and 10 you can break down in your own way now 2 is a prime circle it up and 10 can be divided into 2 times 5 and you've got both as prime numbers so you've got the same thing 2 times 2 times 5 using the ladder method how do you do it now you make a ladder like this and you write down the number 20 now take the prime number the smallest prime number if it is divisible by 20 or not let's take 2 so 20 divided by 2 gives you 10. All right. Is again take the smallest prime number. You can repeat the prime number if it go if it is divisible by this number. So let's take 2 again. 10 divided by 2 gives you 5. Now is 5 again divisible by 2? No. So you can take the number after that. But 3 is not divisible. So you can take a number which is divisible by 5, and that's 5. 5 divided by 5 gives you 1. So again, using the ladder method, you can write the prime product of primes like 2 times 2 times 5. I'll show you the easiest trick to find out the HCF and LCM so that you don't get confused. Here it is. Write the numbers together. 16, 24 and 32. And then draw the ladder. Now don't do it separately. Here we are not doing it separately. Together. Now let's check. First, we'll start with HCF. All right. Whatever number you choose here, all these three numbers should be divisible by that number. So here you have 16. 16 should be divisible by the number you choose here. 24 also should be divisible. And 32 should also be divisible by the number you choose here. So, and we are starting from the smallest prime number. So, let that be 2. So, is 16 divisible by 2? Yes. 24 divisible by 2? Yes. 32 divisible by 2? Yes. So, let's take 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 12 is 24. And 2 times 16 is 32. Now, let's make a ladder and check again. Is there any number that should be the smallest? We are moving on from smallest prime number one by one, step by step. So is there any smallest prime number again for which all these three numbers are divisible together? So 8, 12 and 16 are again divisible by 2. So let's take 2. So 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 8 is 16. So again, 4, 6, and 8, all the three numbers are divisible by 2. So let's take 2 again. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8. Now again, make a ladder. Now check. Is there any number which we're going to take up here, divisible by all the three numbers here? 2, 3, and 4. 2, if we take, it is divisible by 2 not divisible by 3 it is divisible by 4 so 1 is not divisible so we cannot take 2 if we take 3 3 2 is not divisible by 3 4 is not divisible by 3 so we cannot take 3 any other number 4 no but not with 3 so we end up here for the hcf your hcf is 
just multiplying these three so hcf is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 which is equal to 8 now for the lcm let's continue doing till we get the remainder 1 now let's start with 2 because we have two numbers which are divisible by 2 let's take 2 2 once 2 3 write it as it is 2 times 2 is 4 now again draw a ladder now again you can take a 2 2 times 1 3 as it is 2 times 1 is 2 now you have only number 3 remaining so let's take 3 3 times 1 sorry 1 3 times 1 is 3 and 1 so you've got 1 at the end so you stop here now for LCM you write down all this 3 2 times 2 times 2 as well as 2 times 2 times 3 2 times 2 times 3 and when you multiply them all 8 times 2 16 times 2 32 times 3 96 and that's your LCM now how easy was this you can just pick it up that this is HCF and when you multiply them all together that's your LCM so this method is much more easier and you won't even get confused while doing it thank you so much bye bye take care